TV News Brief for Wednesday, September 25th. I'm Max Darrow, and here are tonight's top stories. A new constitution is being proposed and planned for the Student Association. What changes are in place? All the details tonight at 6. A new student organization called Nourish International has arrived to the Syracuse University campus. Reporter Jules Pixoto will have a full profile and report later tonight. The executive director of the American Civil Liberties Union, Anthony Romero, came to campus today. Find out more about his visit on our broadcast later tonight. Even more details have emerged about the gunman in a Navy Yard shooting. Tune in tonight at 6 to find out more about what authorities discovered from the building surveillance footage and audio tape. The battle in Capitol Hill over the attempted government shutdown continued today with Senator Ted Cruz giving a marathon of a speech in the Senate. Tonight at 6, we'll have more on the situation and which government programs will be affected. Following the terrorist attack in the Nairobi Mall in Kenya, the Al-Shabaab terrorist group is now be behind it is now saying the Kenyan government assault team carried out a demolition of the building, burying 137 hostages in the rubble. More details later tonight. Free speech advocate Mary Beth Tinker spoke in the Heard Auditorium in Newhouse earlier this afternoon about her Tinker Tour campaign. I got the chance to interview Tinker before her talk about the First Amendment. Tune in at 6 for the full story. That's it for tonight's Citrus TV News Brief. Tune in later at 6 for the full broadcast. I'm Max Darrow. Have a good evening, Syracuse.